Here are some of the knowns and the unknowns as of January 19th. What will the unemployment rate be as reported on the first Friday of October? Will it be a firm downward trajectory or will it be bouncing all around? Will Mitt Romney, assuming he's the nominee, be able to shape the Republican Party or will the party shape Mitt Romney? Will the super PACs totally dominate the campaign and will mo money fundamentally decide the election? Will President Obama run an uplifting campaign of hope and change or will he, as Ruth Marcus recently wrote in the Washington Post, just run on fear and loathing? Will national security take center stage, a la Iran, the Middle East, the European debt crisis, or North Korea, or God forbid, terrorism? Or will this truly be its, it's the economy stupid election, which I think is likely jobs, jobs, jobs? Will the Congress really be the do-nothing target Obama is trying to paint? Or will public opinion force President Obama and the Congress into governing? Which, after all, as my old boss, President Reagan, used to say, is in fact the best politics. Will social issues and Occupy Wall Street and religion play any significant role in the general election campaign? Will this be a size, scope, and role of government election? or will it be a referendum on the incumbent? We will find out in 292 days, which is 292 lifetimes, the answer to many of these questions. But no matter who is elected, that person has to govern. He has to bring people together. The job of president is simply is not, not simply to build consensus in Washington. It is to build consensus in America, and then Washington will follow. Let's hope that the campaign will elevate both sides. So come next January 20th, a president and a Congress can work together to find common ground. As we all know, the stakes are enormous. Kicking the can down the field is not acceptable. We face huge challenges.